Slack is a powerful business collaboration and communication tool designed to make internal communication between staff and teams more simple and streamlined for everyone. Hey guys, Stuart here, thanks for joining me. Today I want to share with you how to use Slack in 2020. In this new Slack tutorial for beginners, I'm going to break down exactly how you can effectively use Slack to transition from internal communication using messy emails to using dedicated channels to streamline communication and productivity within your business. Now, with teams predominantly working from home, there isn't a better time to transition into a easy to use internal collaboration tool like Slack. Now, just quickly, if you get value out of this video, please leave a like and a comment down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to stay updated with actionable business tutorials like this one. And with that said, let's get started with Slack. All right, so here we are at the web version of Slack. Now you can also download Slack on mobile devices for iOS and Android and you can also download the software onto your computer however today we're just going to go through slack the web version because everyone can access uh, slack through the internet now remember slack is ideal for businesses internally for communication as you can see here slack brings the team together wherever you are now fundamentally slack essentially replaces emails okay emails internally within your business so we're moving from emails into messages and those messages are organized into channels and that's what we're going to break down and go through today so you understand how you can use this within your business and how it's going to bring value to your organization essentially what we want to do with slack is increase your business productivity collaboration and streamline the communication okay so with that said the first thing we want to do is sign in now if you don't already have an account click get started or you can come down here and click try slack for free so i'm going to click this button here okay if you already have a slack account you're already part of a team that has an existing workplace uh, an existing slack account then come over here and sign in to slack now if you're creating a new slack workplace this is the first time you've ever used slack then come over here and click create a slack workplace and here we want to create our account so pop in your full name here then add your email address and add a password then once you've added your information come down here and click create account now if you do not want to receive emails promotional material from slack then just untick this box here and then click create account you can navigate over here and click save to save this password onto your browser then what we need to do is head over to our email and find the six digit code in order for us to verify our slack account then once you've jumped over to your inbox your email inbox all we need to do is copy this code here and return back to the slack website and here we just need to paste in those digits here we want to add our company's name this can also be your team's name, it's completely up to you. And then when you're happy with your company or team's name, pop down here and click next. And here you'll be asked what you're gonna use Slack for. So for us, we're gonna click on working on a project because that's what we wanna use Slack for, working internally on a project with a team. Then we're also going to select staying connected and then we will also select sharing ideas so you want to select at least two options and when you're happy with those options then pop down here and click next you can also skip this step but i recommend choosing a few of these options so you can get started with the channels then when you're happy with that come down and click next then what we want to do is add our team to slack so think about the people the people within your organization that you want to work on projects with so all you need to do is add their emails here or you can come down here and copy this link by clicking copy link and then you can send that link directly to your team directly to your staff or other people within your organization that you want to collaborate with through slack so I'm just going to quickly add two of my team members here and once you've added your team members come down here and click invite now you can add your team members later on down the track you can skip this step 
or you can invite additional team members later on once we've finished this setup. So I'm going to click invite and here we go. Welcome to your Slack dashboard. So this is where the magic happens. Now remember the idea of Slack is to move away from internal communication using emails into messages. As you can see here, we can write a message and those messages are grouped into channels. So as you can see, we have ideas, projects, team, and a welcome channel. Now with each channel, you can communicate with everyone that is part of this particular channel. Before we dive into all the details so you can understand how Slack works as a beginner, first we'll just quickly cover an overview of your Slack dashboard. So first things first, if we head up to the left hand side, this is where we can create a new message. So if you click on new message, here you have the option to send a new message to one of the channels. Now, like I mentioned before, we have four channels on this side and we can edit the channel name and we can add additional channels. So for example, if I click on welcome, this is the new channel that's been created. I can come down here and I can type in a welcome message to everyone that's part of this team, part of this channel. And as you can see, I've just typed up a quick message to everyone that is now part of this channel for us to communicate. Welcome to Slack. Here we can collaborate and communicate with complete ease. So everyone that's part of this channel, as you can see, welcome here, welcome. Everyone that's part of welcome will see this message. Now I can come down here and there's a few options. For example, there's shortcuts, bold, italic, strike through. I can add code if I'm more advanced. I can come down here and enter a link. I can create a list. I can add bullet points, block quote, and code block. There's options here that you can choose from, so play around with these different features. Then we can come across to the right hand side and we can hide the formatting. We can mention someone. We can add emojis and we can attach files or documents. Then when you're happy with your message, you've added your documents, you've added your emojis, and you've tagged individuals that you want to see this particular message, then click send message. And as you can see, I have sent this first message. So everyone that's part of this channel can now see this message. Now on the left hand side, we also have our account details, which we'll cover shortly. Then we have drafts. We can add additional people here by clicking add. And here you can add the email address of the team member or the staff that you want to join your Slack. You can give them a name and these people can then change their name later on if they like. So once you have added additional people, we can click send invitation. So we'll just exit out of that for now. We don't want to invite any more people as this is just a tutorial. So we'll exit out of that one. Then we can come down to files. And if we click on files, this is where you'll see all the team files that have been uploaded. So this is where you can upload files to share in channels. Then if we navigate over to channels, again, we can add another channel. So if I click add channel, I can come down and browse a channel or create channel. So if I click create a channel, here I can give the channel a name. Now remember what we're doing is organizing what would usually be email conversations into topics. So as the example suggests up here, we have marketing. Now let's say I am a web designer. We are a web designing company. So a name of this channel could be design. Then I can come down here and add a description if I like. And then once you've added your description, we can come down here and we can make this channel private or unprivate. And then when you're happy with your name description and you've made your channel private, come down here and select create. Here you want to add people to your channel. So here I'm going to add my two team members that I added earlier, then click done. And remember you can add more people later on. So here we are on design. So it's as simple as that to create additional channels. Now as a web designer, I would also add other channels. So for example, I could add uh, graphic design. I could add website design, marketing, sales, and possibly Friday drinks. And these would all be independent channels, which I'd add 
relevant people to that I want to communicate with and collaborate with for that particular task or project. Now, if we come down here, you can actually direct message individuals. So again, rather than messy email, what you can do is come down here and you can click on the team member or you can click on the individual and then you can come up here and say hello if you haven't communicated with them before and then come down here and click either this suggested message and add your custom message just like that. Hey developer one, let me know if you need help with your web design project. I have free time today and that will go directly to developer one. Now, as you can see, developer one has not signed up for Slack yet. So your message will be sent to them via email. And when they sign up to Slack, then they'll be able to access this exact dashboard just like mine. Now, remember, this was a direct message. So only developer one can see this message. Again, I could click developer two and I could send a message here and then I can come down here and invite additional people. So once again, it's very basic. We have channels, which we can create additional channels. We can make them private or public. Then we can come down here and send direct messages, just like if we were to send a message to one of our team members. Very simple and straightforward and streamlined. Then if we navigate up to the top, we can change our settings here. So if we click on Syndio Media, down here, we can see that you're set to active. We can click change and this just shows that we're away. So now people that are part of our Slack will notice that we are offline. Now, when you're back online, just click act. Then we can come down here and you can update your status for everyone to see. We can also come down to notifications. If you don't want to see notifications pop up on your device or on your computer, then you can pause them for a specific amount of time. Then we can come down here and click view profile. Here we can edit our profile so we can change our profile picture. We can add a title. We'll head back up to Cindio Media and then we will come down here. Again, we can invite people to Cindio Media, our organization. Another important thing to note is if we come down here and select manage apps, here we can connect apps to Slack. So if we head over to browse app directory, as you can see, there are tons of apps that we can connect to Slack to enhance the communication and collaboration. For example, we can connect Gmail, Dropbox, Google Drive, we got Zoom here that we can connect, Monday.com. There's many tools that you can choose from to enhance that communication. We have Trello down here. So there's many apps that we can integrate with Slack to make communication a lot easier within our organization. So again, you can identify the app download it and connect it to your account. So that's one of the most powerful things about Slack is that it easily integrates with other productivity, communication and collaboration tools to make your work more streamlined. So what we'll do now is head back to our Slack dashboard by navigating up to the top left and clicking Slack. As you can see, very straightforward, very simplistic, very easy to collaborate with your team, especially if they're in a remote location. And this is just gonna help communication within your organization less messy. Now with bigger organizations, this is great because you can move away from messy emails and you can start collaborating through messages within channels. Now, the great thing with Slack is it's free to get started. However, there are paid options also. So let's check those out quickly. So head over to your account and come down here and click see upgrade options. Now, this free version gives the team access to Slack's basic features. OK, so this is sufficient for small businesses, especially just getting started. However, if you want more integrations with apps and other features, then come down here and you have the option to select the standard version which is great for small and medium sized businesses. Now the important features that kind of take you to the next level from the free version is unlimited apps to integrate with your Slack account and also group calls with screen sharing. And then the other options are for larger businesses that require more features and more room for expansion in terms of communication and productivity. But for now, the free version of Slack is sufficient for many small businesses. The price is per person 
person per month. Communication tools like this are going to become more and more important as people move away from emails and then a lot of people are starting to work from home. This is a great place to interact and collaborate no matter where your team is based in the world. So play around with Slack with your team and see if it's going to work for your organization and decide if Slack is the right communication and collaboration tool for your business. And there we have it, that's how you and your teams can get started with Slack. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed and got value out of this Slack tutorial, please leave a like and a comment down below. And with that said, thanks again for watching, if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so and we will see you in next week's video. Take care.